The layout that we're making in this demo uses a grid parent container with Flexbox children containers. Some of the Flexbox children containers have photo modules. Some of them are just empty Flexbox containers that have color backgrounds. And if I right click and select inspect, that's gonna open up Chrome's developer tools. I'm using Chrome, but Firefox will work similarly. And you can see that my grid container here has this little badge next to it marked grid. And if I click on the badge, then that's gonna open up the Chrome grid inspector, which gives me a visual on my grid lines and some information about my grid. Most of the items on my grid just take up one grid space, one row space, one column space, except for this picture over here, the woman with the flowers in her hair with the gray background and the man with the orange background. Those two items take up two rows. And that black border that you see around the outside, that's just the row background behind the grid. That's not actually part of the grid. Let's take a look at how this looks in Beaver Builder's outline panel real quick before we start. This here is our grid parent container. And by default, items are gonna be placed on your grid from left to right and then from top to bottom. And as I hover over the items with my mouse, you can see them become highlighted in the outline panel, see the flow. Already has something, so then it jumps over here. Now let's open up a blank page and we're gonna build this out from scratch. All right, the first thing we need is our grid container. We're gonna set the display to grid. We're gonna give it four tracks and two rows. I also need to remove the gap spacing. This layout doesn't have any gap between the, the grid spaces. Okay, now I'm gonna stick some Flexbox children containers in here. I can just go into the outline panel and duplicate this first one. The first item on our grid spans down two rows. That's the picture of the woman with the flowers in her hair and the gray background. And the default will indicate that everything takes up one column in one row. So we can leave the column as is. So our first three grid spaces all have photos inside of them. Now we need to go back and make a little adjustment on this first image to see it's not taking up the space that it's supposed to and that's because we need to set the photo module to cover. And just like the first image, the woman with the flowers in her hair, this guy with the orange background needs to span down two rows and we need to set the photo module to cover. We actually need five columns I'm seeing here in our grid, not four. So that's easy enough to just go back into our grid parent container and bump up the number of columns to five. So this next box doesn't have a photo module in it. We're just gonna go into that flex child container and set the background color. And that's one of our default colors here in the color picker. So now we've used up our full first row as well as the first space in our second row. That means that our next item is going to be pushed down to our second row and second column. We've run out of Flexbox containers, so I'm going to duplicate this one just to fill in the rest of the spaces. 
And this next box is just a color block. And all of our colors are part of the preloaded presets down here in Beaver Builder. The next box gets a photo module. And now for our last box, which is a color. And now we can wrap things up by adding our black border, which is just a background color for our row that surrounds our parent grid. Maybe just add a little margin up here to the top. And we're done. Thanks so much for watching.